This video is the removal and installation of a gas piston for the M1 carbine. Now this is one of the last resorts when you've ruled out all other uh, operating functions uh, that are not at fault for the, for the weapon firing. And one of the first things that I do is once I have the barrel and the gas piston is I check to see if it moves freely. It's not coming out. I use my fingers. I really can't free it up. Um, I do something else too. I cover up the the breech end, blow in the tube, and the piston should fall. You heard a little click. There's the piston that moves freely. But for argument's sake, what we're going to do is say it froze and it's not coming down at all with any tools or anything else. It's stuck in there. And what we're going to do first is we're going to clean all these areas of all the carbon. And you should WD 40 it or whatever you have, Marvel Mystery Oil or anything to that effect, something that penetrates up in this hole also. And you're going to let it soak overnight. You can even soak the barrel if you want. You could, by the muzzle end, you can put in a wooden doll and just stand it up in a can of like ATF fluid or penetrating oil that comes up to the breech area it will help a little bit from the from the hole inside the barrel after this is clean we know that the piston is definitely frozen I have a special tool that I use um, there are two GI tools there's one is the is the gas piston uh, nut wrench and there's also an armorer's tool goes on it does the same thing I like using the, the hand tool for now just to take it off and I'll show you the installation with the um, with the tap and the, and the armors tool in a minute all right just put it over it and I'm gonna loosen you're gonna have to put a lot of pressure on this to do this be careful and warning for this whole process you should be a gunsmith to do this because they need to inspect a few key parts, which I'll show you once I remove the nut. The nut's removing my hand now. All right, I removed the nut. The piston's still stuck in there. You might have to tap it to get it out. But once you remove it, you might have to soak it again overnight, clean it out as best you can with some type of tool, getting these threads up in here. Up in this area and cleaning it out. Once you get it removed, I'm just wiggling gently and she just barely came out. Okay. Now, this happens to be an early barrel. And a lot of people don't understand the difference between a type 1 and a type 2 um, barrel nut. So here's a little demonstration. If you look closely, let's see if I can get it on the white for you. Okay, see how even the nuts are, but one sticks out further than the other? This one on the right hand side is a type 1 nut, which doesn't have a cut recess in it. This is the type 2 nut over here that does have the cut. And this is what it looks like. See how there's a ridge over here, and there's not over here? Those are the differences. This is the earlier version. This is the later version. They found out that the little bit, that little bit of a thousandths or a couple thousandths of an inch stroke difference put more pressure on the slide to make sure that it operated properly. Next thing you're going to do is, after you remove the nut, you're going to inspect it. Obviously, the one on the left is new old stock and the one on the right is burnt up to a crisp if you have no other pistons you need to clean this one out use a brass brush penetrating fluid and it'll come off check the roundness 
both ends. If it's nice and clean and it's good to go, we'll use it. This is the, the type 2 nut that I had. We're going to install this one just for a little more positive um, operation. But before I do that, I'm going to check inside. When I'm checking inside, is that area right in there. You see a hole, and then you see like a beveled area to the right and to the left of it. There's a little bevel right here, and there's a little bevel right here. Well, the inner portion is where the head of the piston nut fits into, this part here, okay? You need to make sure that whole chamber area is nice and clean in there, okay? Now this hole is actually drilled straight through this way into the barrel. You can use a, a tiny drill bit if it's, if it's really crappy by hand and just move it in there to clean it out a little bit better. Use pipe cleaners, more penetrating fluid until all your stuff comes out nice and clean. That's clean. You check all your threads. What I talked about with the armor is need to check your threads here or the gunsmiths need to check your threads here and make sure there's no cracks up in here. A lot of guns will have a crack right here and that can just always open this up a little bit and I've seen stocks where the piston has flown out, broke the nut and blasted right outside the, the, the side of the stock and your barrel is just toast after that if it doesn't hurt you at the same time. Everything's clean, we're getting ready to do the install. Okay, So I have my new piston, my Type 2 nut I install by hand as far as I possibly can go. I'm back, th back threading it. I get it in. It's going in nice and smooth. Had everything inspected ahead of time. There's no rattle to it. I can feel a little slack in the piston. I can actually pull it out with my fingernails. That's what you want in your piston. Okay. But I'm going to install with the tool this time. This tool is an armor's tool. It's, it's pretty darn special. It has two heads to it. Okay, one is the removal nut, and then it has the tap. Okay, the tap implies exactly what it is. If your threads are all fouled up, if it's just corrosion and a little bit of rust, you're going to use this end. It does bottom out. Don't break your handle when you're doing it. You need to be very careful using it, but we're just going to use this to tighten up. And what we do is we actually use the trigger housing retaining pin to hold it into place. It's got a spring in it. I'm going to pull it back, drop it on it, and then I'm going to tighten from here. All right, she's all the way tight. Bang my pin out, remove my tool, and then we're going to inspect again, make sure nothing happened, it didn't crack or anything like that. What we're looking for now is that this area here is flush with the metal over here of the barrel, okay? This happens to be a Winchester barrel, so it's not a, a swagged on uh, cylinder. There's a little detent here in the piston nut. You're going to need to peen this area here with a special tool for staking and to keep it from backing out. Okay, you're going to do it on this side and on this bottom side. Once that's staked in, you should always have it inspected by, like I said, an armorer. So, just to double check our work, it's a little, it's a little tight in there now, but let me see if I can blow down the tube and make it move. Of course I can't show you. Well, that's why it's an old barrel and it's a video, right? But anyway, you should be able to have the, the bolt move for you, or the piston move for you without any problems after that. Alright? I just did it for the for the video's sake. Like I said, if you got any questions or anything like that, you can always email me, norwich93 at netzero.net. But that's how you would uh, reinstall it. And that's one of the reasons why you use the tap, just to clean those threads out just a little bit better. And in the chamber area where the, where the piston actually will sit up inside, 
there should be just a little bit of slop up and down just very minor you won't be able to really feel it unless you have both fingers on it and when the nut is out that's when the best time you can actually feel that little bit of slack inside there different piston nuts you'll have a different amount of slack they are a little bit different but if everything's clean everything's good get it inspected and your rifle should function fine that's how you remove and install the piston gas piston in the M1 carbine